Today we're teaching some arena zoomers about turbo fog. Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth just dropped and it turns out that the One Ring is a pretty good magic card. It's been showing up in essentially every archetype, in modern and in historic, apparently gaining protection of everything for a turn and also drawing a silly amount of cards for just 4 mana is pretty powerful. While you can jam the One Ring in just about any archetype, it's almost like it was designed to bring back one of my all time favorite miserable to play against boomer decks. Turbo Fog. If you're not familiar with Turbo Fog, don't worry, it's been a long, long time since it was a real deck. But the plan is simple let the opponent do what they want, build a massive board full of creatures, but make sure those creatures are harmless by casting a fog every turn. While literal fog isn't on Arena, we have 12 two mana fogs, cards that prevent all combat damage for a turn, in Haze of Pollen, Commencement of Festivities, and Root Snare. They all do essentially the same thing, just making your opponent not deal combat damage for a turn. For the turbo fog plan to work, we need to make sure that we have a fog every single turn in the mid to late game. In the early game, we can take a few attacks while we're getting things set up, but once our life total starts to get low, we gotta make sure we can fog every turn because our opponent's gonna have a massive board full of creatures. We don't really play much removal, so our opponent gets to do their thing, which means a single attack getting through without a fog is gonna kill us on the spot. As a result, the most important cards in a turbo fog deck, outside of the fogs themselves, are card draw spells, and this is where the the one ring comes in. If you think about what the one ring actually does, it's essentially a fog. It ETBs and gives us protection from everything for a turn, which is basically like casting a haze of pollen or a commencement of festivities, except actually better because it protects from everything and not just combat damage. But the one ring is a fog that also draws an absurd amount of cards, which helps make sure we always have a handful of fog, so we're never going to die to our opponent's ever-growing battlefield. Eventually, the one ring is going to get a bunch of burden counters and start dealing a ton of damage to us, but we got some plans for this as well. The most obvious and easiest is just playing another copy of the One Ring to legend rule away the first one and start the process over with zero burden counters, but we have an even more fun plan in Consuming Tide. The four mana sorcery bounces all but one of each player's non-land permanents, which basically makes it another fog since our opponent's gonna lose almost their entire board and have to spend a turn or two recasting all their creatures. Just as important, Consuming Tide lets us bounce our own the one ring, which not only resets the burden counters, but also lets us use its fog like ETB trigger another time. The other key card draw spell of the deck is Search for His Kanto, which in the early game filters our draws by surveilling, and then once it flips, gives us a land that's really good at digging through a deck to find fogs every turn. So, so far we've seen how Turbo Fog is super annoying to play against, especially for creature decks, and how the plan of casting a fog each turn can keep us alive for for a long, long time, but how do we actually win the game? With one of my all-time favorite janky finishers, Teferi's Tutelage. Teferi's Tutelage, ATBs and loots, and then mills our opponent for two whenever we draw a card. This might not sound like a lot, but eventually we're going to get multiples on the battlefield, which combined with the massive amount of card draw the One Ring offers, will quickly empty our opponent's library. Initially, I also tried Watcher in the Water and Leer Disciple of the Drowned as backup win conditions, but they didn't feel very good, so they ended up getting replaced with Teferi Temporal Pilgrim as a backup plan. Uh, Teferi is actually ridiculous in the deck. The spirit tokens to fairy makes end up getting super massive with the help of the One Ring's card draw, and the One Ring's card draw also adds a ton of loyalty to Teferi since it gets loyalty whenever we draw a card, which helps us get to its negative 12 ultimate, which is essentially a super fog, making our opponent shuffle almost all their non-land permanents into their deck, but honestly, 9 times out of 10, we're winning by milling our opponent out with Teferi's tutelage. Initially, I played zero removal spells in the deck, it was all just bouncing and fogging, but after losing to a Shoulder of the Apocalypse and a Terror of the Peaks, creatures that can win the game without dealing combat damage, which means they don't really care about our fogs. I ended up adding Witness Protection to the deck, while a Shoulder or a Terror of the Peaks is basically unbeatable for our deck. Once they turn into legitimate business people, our fog plan is back online. And that's basically the deck.
cast a lot of fogs, draw a bunch of cards, melee out eventually. But two last things really, really quickly before picking up the games in real time. First, while I started off playing the deck in best of three, I pretty quickly switched over to best of one, in part so people couldn't sideboard to beat what we were doing, but more importantly because best of one is a format that arena zoomers play, and if we're going to hand out some life lessons, we got to be able to meet people where they're at. Second, the deck is dirt cheap to put together, with a total of just 12 main deck rares and mythics uh, because we don't really care about curving out in our deck still anyway we can get away with playing an all tap land mana base which means if you want to help teach some arena zoomers about turbo fog you should be able to put together the deck pretty easily and cheaply the only higher rarity cards you need are four copies of the one ring four copies of consuming tide three search for his contest and a single teferi temporal pilgrim anyway let's pick up the games in real time and teach some arena zoomers about turbo fog Want to do some fogging in paper? Well, you can snag all the cards you need from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. All right, turbo fog time. It is time to teach some arena zoomers about <laughs> what it's like to never deal combat damage. And yeah, I mean, this hand, fine, I guess. No one ring, but I mean, we got a fog. We got a tutelage. All right, opponent, what are you up to? Come on, something that cares about combat damage. <laughs> All right, opponent. Ooh, forest. Okay, that's a good start. Elvish missed. Okay. Well, uh, it's probably Mono Green Devotion. I don't know how this goes. <laughs> uh, Karn tutoring stuff from the sideboard is scary. Yeah, let's play the Tapland Pass. Forest. And, oh, okay, Arch Druid. Okay, that's actually great for us. That means our opponent probably is trying to win with combat damage. All right, very suitable. We might be... Oh, in the one ring. All right. All right, all right. Let's just start a Jwari Disruption. Okay. Uh, this should be a good one for us. I, <laughs> I mean, it all depends on us executing our game plan. But assuming... We, ooh, Coco. All right, opponent's going off. Assuming we do our thing, I think our thing beats... Wow, that's a good elf start, too. I mean, this is the best elf start. Turn one Manador, turn two Arch Druid, turn three Coco into another Arch Druid. This is the Elven Dream. Opponent, Elvish Mystic, four mana floating. Wow, okay, well, we'll see. The question is, do we one ring or do we just bounce everything? Play the land, let's just, hmm. They have one card in hand, that's not that many. Yeah, we're just gonna bounce. I think there's some argument for like, playing the one ring, drawing a card, next turn bouncing everything. But I like the amount that this slows our opponent down. All right. Mill you. Opponent keeps the Arch Druid. They can rebuild pretty quickly because all their one mana elves are essentially free since elf, uh, since Arch Druid's going to tap for that mana. All right. Mystic. Sure. Yeah. Elvish Mystic returns. Llanowar Elves returns. Arch Druid tapping for four manas. War Master. Yup. And then Elvish Mystic. Yup. And then Alizor Shepherd. Yeah. So, I mean. It was basically a fog. <laughs> I guess we put our opponent down one lord, but they essentially just replayed everything. Well, we will mill you. Play the one ring. I mean, we have two fogs in hand. We're at 20, so we're not going to die to the burden counters anytime soon. Protected from everything, including elves. <laughs> elves are everything. About it. Another lord. Yeah. <laughs> this, this matchup is just, like, such a great example of how miserable Turbo Fog could be because, like... Our opponent, it's not like they have some bad draw or something. They had, like, literally the draw that beats anyone. They have the draw for their elf deck, and <laughs> Turbo Fog just doesn't care. Turbo Fog just does not care. All right, mill you. Take one from the one ring. Absolutely busted magic card. Untap. Draw. All right, so we have three fogs in hand and another tutelage. We actually can mill our opponent out pretty quickly. Oh, they're playing the one ring. We can mill our opponent out pretty quickly with double tutelage. Double tutelage in the ring is like, it's a lot of mill. It's actually a pretty fast clock. Um, let's discard a... Actually, let's go search for his content. I don't even think we need search for his content this game. Opponent, 34 cards in the deck. So we need like... I mean, I think what we have now just wins this game, actually. All right, play a, play a tap land, pestered. I think three fogs plus the one ring draw should be enough. Opponent, would you like to try to kill us? <laughs> would you like, to, I promise it'll go fine, opponent. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 
<laughs> Our opponent has to be... We are going to crush some dreams. They top deck the crater of hundreds of elven damage coming our way. <laughs> Only two mana. What could we possibly do? <laughs> Oh, so good. Okay, here comes here comes the life lesson about Turbo Fog. Opponent goes on the big attack. Sure, we're gonna draw some cards, make it look like we're desperate. Oh no, can we hit something to stay alive? <laughs> also, mill you for eight. Uh... <laughs> oh no, did we luck into did we luck into an answer? <laughs> oh, that's so brutal. How about a root snare? How about a root snare? <laughs> and this is where our opponent's heart sank. <laughs> nice. Yes, it is. It is pretty nice. <laughs> and that is how you stop hundreds of damage for two mana. <laughs> All right. One ring. Gets a burden counter. Sure. We draw more fogs. Imagine that. Milia for four. I mean, I think we win in two turns, right? Like, we. so we tap one ring mill for 12. Mill for two on our next draw step. Tap one ring, mill for, I don't even know, 16? Like, one ring double tutelage is a, actually a legit clock. <laughs> this is the best Teferi's tutelage has ever been. But, oh, wow. Pwn's only got 17 cards. Can we win right now? Two for, so we mill for 12. We mill for 12. One ring can mill for four, and then Hazepalon can mill for three? I think we actually, wow. This is an even faster clock than I realized. Wait, is Teferi's tutelage good now? <laughs> is this like a legit plan now because of the one ring? An opponent, opponent scoops it up. Well, that was a nice crater hoof, but unfortunately Root Snare is even nicer. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right, Turbo Fog time. We are <laughs> trying to hand out some uh, lessons to Arena Zoomers with this hand. All right. I mean, double tutelage, double one ring. We'll see. The hand is not fast, but it can mill pretty quickly. Like, not good at protecting ourselves, but really good at killing our opponent. Let's see what our... Oh, no. Is this control? Oh, okay. Glimpse? Oh, no. Mill? Oh. You know what does not care about fogs, like, at all? <laughs> that would be mill decks. Although, the search for his content is going to be really good. About it. Maddening cacophony. Sure. Mill this some more. Uh, we will mill this fog. <laughs> I guess we're helping our opponent by milling here, but all right, this is this is gonna be interesting. Our fogs do nothing. However, is there some chance we can outmill the mill deck with Teferi's Doodleage? <laughs> Teferi's Doodleage number one, loot. Uh, I mean, I guess we discard the fog. I feel like what we've seen so far suggests our fogs are dead cards. Drown in the lock, crab. The real question is gonna be, can we get a one ring down? And an ooh, opponent misses their land drop. Okay. Well, mill you. Counterspell. Tasha's hideous laughter. Well, let's play the tap land. And I mean, this probably gets countered, but I think we have to do it. Run out the one ring. No counter? Soaring Thought Thief. Oh, is it rogues? A mill heavy rogues. I don't know. There's somewhere in between. All right. Well, the one ring resolves. Opponent goes to combat. Uh, attacks. Well, let's draw a card in Milia. Consuming Tide, not great. Well, this I this is this is probably our worst matchup, but the fact that our opponent's on two lands might give us a shot. All right, one ring takes up. Oh, if we can resolve this tutelage, well, I mean, we're gonna go for it. Do you have a counter? It didn't seem like they had a counter last turn with the one ring. Wow. Okay, double tutelage. Wait, is there a chance we just win this race? I think there's a chance we just out outmill the mill deck. Well, we're gonna pitch the fog. We're not dying to damage, I don't think, this game. Mill you for four. So 41 cards in the deck. Down to 37. One ring mills for eight here, and then 12 next turn. But we have another tutelage and a gross. Okay. Well, we'll see. We will see. This is gonna be super close. The bonus. Ooh, storming thought thief number two. Well, we will grow spiral. Milia for four. About it. If our opponent has another Glimpsey Unthinkable or something, that would that would get us. Also, we are drawing cards with our one rank. 23 cards in our deck, okay? Opponent mills us. Mills us down to 19. Yup. We will take six. Maybe we are losing to damage. Well, that's one ring. 
Milieu. 32. Is there a chance we win this turn? Can we win? Is it possible? Is Teferi's tutelage actually just busted with the One Ring? All right, 28. So opponent's at 24. We can play another tutelage. Wait, can we mill our opponent's entire deck? I mean, if they have a counter, this goes wrong, but mill you. Opponent's at 20. So this mills for six. I think if we resolve our stuff, I think we just actually mill them out here. This is kind of ridiculous. It's very tutelage. Oh, okay, there's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Jawar's Disruption. Opponent never do the land. <laughs> okay, okay. Tutelage resolves. Mill you. Discard a Consuming Tide. Opponent. How many cards we got? How many cards we got? Is this enough? Mill you for six. And then this one ring draws three. Mills for eight. Wow, we did it. Oh my goodness. Out milling the mill deck. That's our bad matchup. If we could somehow win that matchup, we did benefit from our opponent not drawing lands, but that is that is hard mode. Hard mode turbo fogging, but uh yeah. Who's the mill deck now, rogues? <laughs> Who's the mill deck now? <laughs> All right. We are mulliganing and also trying to teach some arena zoomers about turbo fog. This hand's not bad. I mean, we have two lands. We got this Conta. We'll give it a we'll give it a go. We got some fogs. Opponent, Celesnia. That's a good sign. Celesnia is a color that we like to see. That usually means combat damage. Opponent. Captain Eberhart. Uh cards that we drew this turn cost one more. Okay, sure. Whatever. Uh, run out the search for as Kanta. Uh, opponent. Don't usually see Captain Eberhart. Angel of Unity. Oh, whenever you cast a party creature, put a counter on a party creature in your hand? Eh, let's keep the land. Play the land, get down the tutelage. We need a clock. We need a clock. Right now, we only have one fog. Thank oh, two fogs. Thankfully, our opponent's clock isn't that fast yet. Let's uh, pitch a... Hmm. Probably Belaget Recovery, I think. Maybe. Or Chwari Disruption. Yeah, let's go Disruption. About it. Finn milled. Okay. Well, what do you got now? Thunderous Orator. Uh-huh. Opponent goes attacking. Hits us to 15. Well, mill the Disruption. At this point, we want to fill the graveyard to try to flip this as Kanta Consuming Tide. Well, that'll be relevant in the future. Do we have to fog this turn is the question. Probably not, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Finn. And some poison counters. Okay. One thing about the one ring is, so that's going to get double strike. One thing about the one ring is we do, we do want to keep our life total high enough to draw. I think we can take one more hit. At this point, okay, down to eight. Up to four poison. So at this point... We're pretty much committed to fogging the rest of the game, but we do have, yeah, Milda is Kanta. We do have Consuming Tide is a reset, which is almost going to be two fogs here, I think. Um, we will pick up, I guess this, uh, pick up the Tutelage. Keep this Kanta. Tutelage gives us that uh, ETB loot and mill. All right, so opponent's got to pick up everything except one creature. So worst case, they keep the, what, Orator, play the Double Striker, and hit us for down to four? We do have three Fogs in hand now, though. And this is Kanta will flip eventually. Opponent, yep, Cave of the Frost Dragon, sure. Priest of Possibil- what in the- Oh god, is that a 5-5 five, five Double Strike Lifelink? Okay. Well, <laughs> you know what's good against a 5-5 five, five Double Strike Lifelinker? <laughs> Casting a Fog every turn. Milly is Kanta. Draw to Fairy. Well, I think we gotta wait on that. Let's run out to Fairy's tutelage though. Do some looting, do some milling. Well, the time is do we just discard to Fairy? Are we just giving up on to Fairy? Probably. I guess we could pitch a fog. Or do we even need yeah, I don't even think we need to fairy. We have the tutelage. Well, alright, opponent. What do you what do you got? What do you got? <laughs> Angel Unity, sure, 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 sure. And maybe a fin. <laughs> yup. Puts a counter on something. Sure, 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 sure. Goes to combat. The big attack. Rue snare. <laughs> Fog you. Opponent. 
<laughs> it's for zero. Search for his... Oh, there's one ring. That is one we want. It is a little sad that we're low on life, but we can probably, uh, probably work... I mean, worst case, one of the things about the one ring in this deck is even if we don't activate it, it's still a fog. Like, it's still a fog. And usually we can find a way to activate it to draw at least a card or maybe two cards. We're just going to pass and fog this turn, though. We can pass fog in search for Iskanta. Toski. That would be really good if you could deal combat damage. <laughs> How about a fog? Opponent gets in for zero. <laughs> Gets milled by Teferi's tutelage. All right, now we'll now we'll play the One Ring. Get it down. Although, like I said, I don't think we're gonna draw with it. About it, Captain Eberhart returns and big attack. <laughs> well, we don't need to fog this turn because we have the One Ring, which is actually another fog. This is like, this is where Turbo Fog gets so demoralizing. Like, Come on, I have like a million damage. Can you just whiff on the Fog for one turn? One turn! Also, the One Ring's especially brutal because <laughs> it makes each creature attack one by one. So you have to watch like all the combat damage being fizzled so slowly. All right, take up the One Ring. Draw land. Hmm. Since we have this Consuming Tide, I think we just do, uh, do a bunch of drawing. Do a bunch of drawing. Bounce all your stuff with Consuming Tide. Pick up the One Ring. Keep the tutelage. Bounce your board. We do still need to Fog, though. Our opponent, we're at three, which is not a lot of life. So we do need to Fog this turn. Or replay the One Ring, which might just be better. We have another One Ring in hand, too, which uh, is a way we can draw with the first one and still not die. Well, Milia Milia. Um... Yeah, we'll just we'll just pass and fog. We actually might not need to fog since our opponent kept the Toski. Wow, all right. Not a land for the Cave of the Frost Dragon. I mean, if we're not dying, this is fine. We're trying to mill our opponent out anyway, so if you want to draw a card with Toski, we will accept that. Opponent gets in, hits us. Sure. No need to fog. We'll go to two. Uh, opponent draws. Uh-huh. I mean, this works out great because now we actually get to activate his Kanta. I'm surprised our opponent didn't keep a more threatening creature to make us use a fog. I'm pretty sure that, I mean, not that anyone on Arena knows how to play against Turbo Fog because it hasn't been a deck in forever, but I think it would have been more correct for our opponent to keep a big creature to make us fog. Because a way to beat Turbo Fog, outside of having something, outside of not caring about combat damage or having something that specifically hates on it, like a uh, questing beast that says combat damage can't be prevented or whatever, is you just gotta make him use the fogs. You just gotta make him use it. That's the only only realistic way to actually beat the the turbo fog deck. Well, we'll take a consuming tide. We'll mill ya. Gain a life with our cheaty land. Play a one ring. Now that we have another consuming tide, we can we can go back to doing those shenanigans. Draw with one ring, mill ya a bit, bounce it back to hand. That's one of the cooler synergies in this deck, honestly, is the consuming tide ability to like keep picking up the one ring and reusing it. Opponent with the big attack ambitious <laughs> would you like to kill this opponent oh the one ring <laughs> protection from everything <laughs> oh and you don't draw cards with the toski either oh it's so so brutal so brutal <laughs> uh, how long does our opponent go before they just give up that's the real question another priest of possibilities yeah that's a it's a big scary creature two mana five five double striker we, uh, only a four four this time but whatever, like, it is a big, scary, a big, scary creature. Opponent. Thunderous Orator, sure. I mean, opponent's deck looks kind of cool. Doesn't be Fogs, but it looks kind of cool. Finn, sure. Also needs to deal combat damage. <laughs> well, let's search for Escanta. Uh, well, I'm going to take another tutelage. That'll speed up the mill clock a bit. Draw a card with the one ring. Ooh, another tutelage. Wait, do we win this turn? Maybe. Usually with three tutelage, three tutelages is a lot of mill. Well, play a tutelage. Loot. Disc this. I don't think there's any way our opponent's deck beats this hand. I think it is literally impossible that our opponent's deck beat the, uh, beats this hand. Mill you, mill you. Activate the one ring. Draw some cards. Mill you, mill you, mill you, mill you. Opponent has 14 cards, so going down to six? 
Oh, that should be that should be lethal, right? Another tutelage. Milia for six. And uh well. <laughs> Do you have a Thassa's Oracle in your deck opponent? In your hand, I guess. <laughs> if you have a sneak and flash somehow, a way to flash in a Thassa's Oracle. <laughs> your go. Your go, 5-5 five, five, double striker for two. Oh, an opponent. <laughs> Dies on their uh, draw step. Eh, sweet. <laughs> All right. Teaching some more arena zoomers about the joys of Turbo Fog. And well, I don't know about the turbo, but we got the fogs. So that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, opponent, what are you up to? Well, this hand's gonna need some card draw eventually, but we're not shouldn't die in the near future. Depending, well, it'll depend on what our opponent's up to. Ooh. All right, stomping grounds. Interesting. Gross pile's not the worst draw. Opponent, overgrown battlement. All right, it's got to be some some kind of ramp deck. Hmm. Well, I guess the question's going to be, what are they ramping into? There are ramp some ramp cards that beat us. Uh, Ugin? Ugin would be very bad for us. What else? Ulam oh, Ulamog. We never beat an Ulamog. Ulamog is very, very, very unlikely that we ever beat an Ulamog. The problem with Ulamog is you can fog it all day and it still wins by eating away your library opponent into the north. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, they're just a wall deck. Consuming Tide. Yeah, that's going to go Graveyard. Could really use a one ring. That would be our best draw, just to start drawing some cards. All right, well, I guess we fail again to recover the growth spiral to draw a card. <laughs> Doesn't feel great, but we really just need to find some card draw to start doing things before our opponent does something frightening. Wall of Blossoms, okay, sure. I mean, Cultivate, they're definitely a ramp deck. Well, that's growth spiral. Jawari Disruption. I mean, I guess there's some chance that could stop something. We're going to have to get lucky because our opponent has a ton of mana. But if they completely tap out for something, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, if they don't have a land and they just slam a new again, we could we could get it with the Jawari Disruption. All right, opponent. What do you got? Opponent. Passing. Well, search for his Kanta. Well, there's one ring. We will keep the one ring. We will play the one ring. This does mean we're not Jawari Disrupting unless we top deck an untap land, but I think the odds of Jawari Disruption actually working here is so slim. Yeah, it's just played as a land and pass. Uh, it's not actually that realistic. Opponent, okay, has a land and <laughs> a tally. Mm -hmm. Well, our deck is, what are you going to have, a fog? Like our deck, the one ring would be a hit, but our deck is not full of good cards for our opponent. Invasion of Cross, sure. And from our deck, oh no, that's actually like kind of relevant. I mean, it's not great, but <laughs> that is better than a fog. Like most of our deck is cards that are literally dead for our opponent. All right, uh, into the north, sure. I mean, Italy's fine. If they're ramping into Italy and that's their finisher, we can beat an Italy. Like that, that does get got by Fox. I don't know if we want to bounce Italy, honestly, though. Do we want to bounce the tail? Yeah, I don't think so. Plus, we would like to flip this Kanta. Witness protection. Well, okay. Teferi's tutelage. Start the milling. Let's get a look at what's in our opponent's deck. How scared do we need to be of this ramp deck? Mill. Oh, okay. So there are Ugins. Oh. All right. So we got to hope we mill all the Ugins. Oh, no. And there's Ulamox, too. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Our opponent might be teaching us a lesson about uh about ramp finishers. <laughs> okay, we just gotta hope they don't draw the Ugins and Ulamogs. We can beat the tallies and the walls. We just gotta hope they don't draw the Ulamogs or the Ugins. I guess we could beat maybe a Ulamog because of witness protection. Like we can legitimize, make it a legitimate business person. But uh otherwise. Alright, opponent. Oh god, they do have Ulamog. Oh no, we could have actually Jory disrupted it. Oh, and there goes our one ring. Oh Yeah, let's grow spiral Amelia. Hmm. Worm coil, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's that's bad news. This also means we can't fog Oh, when he cast a spell too damn... Oh. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. We might have needed to fog this, because I don't know if we can beat the backside of 
invasion across us either. Like, that's another way to win without dealing combat damage. Yeah, it's middle land. Flip this Conta. Draw one ring. I mean, okay, we got a shot. So we get to witness protection. <laughs> the Ulamog. A legitimate business, Eldrazi. Uh, play the one ring. One ring is relevant because it actually stops the refraction elemental damage too. Well, okay. We're kind of in this sort of opponent. Oh no. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, that is game now. Well, we get to get a tap duel. Ha ha. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Uh, the problem is, yeah, the Ulamog just exiles so many cards when it attacks, we can't win. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. All right. We are teaching some arena zoomers about the the joys, the joys of Turbo Fog. And yeah, we got our Teferi, our one of Teferi. The sand is not very foggy, but ooh, okay. Getting better. That's a one ring. Uh, tap land go. Hello to you, opponent. Hello to... I don't know if our opponent will be saying hello once they see what our deck's doing. <laughs> Opponents start off all nice, and then once the fogs start coming... Oh, no, you're missing your land drops. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I feel a little bad about this one. Actually, we're playing Turbo Fog. We never feel bad. Teferi's too... Teferi's... You don't play too Turbo Fog if you're going to feel bad for your opponents. <laughs> it just doesn't work that way. Mill you. So opponent's some sort of Jun deck by the looks. Oh, opponent misses another land drop. Okay. Well, uh, this is going to be a good one ring. One ring at 20 life is pretty good. All right. Protection from everything. More importantly, we are going to draw some cards. Opponent. Okay. Opponent does hit a land. Rotting Regisar. That's actually a threat. Like, we do actually have to... We do. Ooh. Oh, it's... Okay, fight rigging. I see. Another one ring. Well, meal you. And... Oh... Uh, yeah, let's just draw. Kind of want to wait before we play the Teferi to leave up fog mana. Meal you, meal you. Play land. And... All right. I guess we just pass. All right, Rotting Regisar. About it. 37 cards left in the deck. Discards a Llanowar. Fight rigging. Ooh, okay. Well, who knows what they could have under this. There are things that would be... We saw before Ulamog. Like, if they have Ulamog in their deck, that would get us. All right, Riding Regisar. Grows it. Invasion. Okay, that is about as painless as a fight rigging can go for us. <laughs> we can... We will accept the Invasion of Zendikar. We probably fog, though, right? We have so many fogs and so much card draw. I think we probably just fog the Regisar. Might as well. Going face. Yeah. Plus, we have a lot of a lot of ring damage. We're in such a good position. I think we can start cycling fogs just to get more milling. Uh, opponent hits us for zero. And it only took one fog. It only took one. And they scooped it up. <laughs> well, lesson learned. Lesson learned. <laughs> All right. Teaching some more turbo fog lessons to our dear, dear Arena Zoomer friends. <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, a couple fogs on one ring. We'll keep it. See what our opponent's up to. All right. Going to six. Sure. Land and Elvish Mystic. All right. Well, we'll see. Could be very good or could be very bad. Green Devotion is the, the Elvish Mystic duck I'm most scared of. Oh. Is this like Mono Green Stompy? Oh. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So... You would think Mono Green Stompy would be our best matchup because we just, they attack with the creatures, we fog them. There is a problem though. That problem is on the battlefield. Uh, Questing Beast. In the huge wall of text on Questing Beast, there is one line that says damage can't be prevented, which means fogs are useless. Thankfully, we have a witness protection, so we can stop the first Questing Beast by making it a legitimate business beast, but... Uh, <laughs> If they find another questing beast, that will, like, so here's the problem. Here's how the gameplay goes. Like, we're going to try to cast fogs and try to mill our opponent out. Our opponent, sooner or later, is going to have a lethal board. And if they, uh, which they already do, actually, at this point, if they ever draw a questing beast, we lose. We lose. Damage can't be prevented means that we are not going to survive uh, our opponent's attacks. So we need to hope that our opponent never draws another questing beast or a way to get rid of this witness protection. If either of those things ever happen, we lose the game. On the other hand, 
we do have Teferi's tutelage, so we mu we just gotta try to mill him out, basically. Like, cast our fogs, mill as aggressively as possible, in hope that our opponent can't draw another questing beast. They do get this Vivian tutor, too. Would they be playing a questing beast in the sideboard? Seems unlikely. I don't know. We'll see. Gonna take up on the legitimate business person. <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, is there a questing beast? Are we dead? Not this turn. Opponent. Well, teaching a lesson about protection from everything here. We are we are progenitus this turn. <laughs> you are not hurting us, legitimate business and questing beast. Uh, opponent. All right, we'll draw with the one ring. Search for Ezkanta. And a land, that's good. That means we get to Teferi's tutelage and start milling. Ooh, ooh, this, hmm. Oh, I was gonna, I was about to get excited for uh, this Chuari disruption, but we have to fog this turn, so we can't use it anyway. All right, opponent, are we dead? Do you have a questing beast? Opponent, tutoring with Vivian. All right. <laughs> well, what can you find? Is it, uh, they might be able to find an answer to the one ring, like a Haywire Mite or something. Goes for card draw, okay. Gets a Beast Whisper. I mean, I guess that's fine. Opponent. All right, plays a Beast Whisper. Sure. I mean, we got to let it go. We could have joy Disruption, but if we don't Fog, we die. So, we will. Cast a Fog. Take zero. <laughs> One ring, draw some cards. Ooh, double tutelage. Okay. That increases our chances. Two tutelages might mean we can mill fast enough mill you play a tutelage next turn we do gotta get rid of the one ringer we're gonna lose to it all right discarding his kanta i don't think we're gonna need that this game mill you mill you 30 oh, 37 37 the big number all right <laughs> all right mono green <laughs> all right mono green plays a forest I see you riding around town with the girl I Wow, they're milling themselves. Love and I'm not for you. I see the change in my pocket. Wasn't enough. I'm like, fuck you and I'll fuck you too. <laughs> Alright, what are you doing, Monograde? What are you doing? Legitimate business beast takes up on the beast whisper. Sure, goes to combat and <laughs> uh, fog you. <laughs> if I was rich, <laughs> all right. I think we might be getting there. I'm still very scared that our opponent could could just top deck a questing beast. Like that is still possible. We're gonna mill our opponent out in like. Can we do it next turn? No. Wait, is Teferi... I'm always blown away by how fast a clock Teferi's tutelage actually is in this deck. Wait, do we win this turn? So we go to two. We mill for four. The one ring draws four. Mills for 16? Wait, do we... We just win, don't we? Well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Teferi's tutelage is, like, I love Teferi's tutelage, but I'm actually shocked at how good it is in this deck. It's, like, actually, like, wins so quickly. All right, library emptied. We will play a one ring just because. <laughs> just in case there's some way that we could die, we will discard to hand size and pass the turn. We beat a questing beast deck. We beat a questing beast deck. That's not supposed to happen. We are not supposed to beat the questing beast deck. That's supposed to be the magic we can't win, but good enough. Good enough. <laughs> Did we have fun this match? Yes. I bet our opponent's getting that question and like hard smashing the, the frowny face, but <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? All right. <laughs> Teaching some more arena zoomers about turbo fog. And let's see what our opponent's up to. This and pretty foggy. Fogs for, fogs for days. Not much else, but uh, we do have a lot of fogs. I will give it that. All right, opponent. What are you doing? Please be attacking with creatures. <laughs> uh, opponent. Oh, God. Oh. All the Storm Giant might be the land we want to see the least. <laughs> that usually means control. 
and control is the matchup we want to play if we play against control look at our hand like Jawari disruption might be halfway live dead card dead card dead card dead card like all the fogs are dead the witness protections dead ish like oh it's not good not good not good all right opponent what do you got oh okay grixis Ooh. well our Jawari disruption can actually stop this and will actually stop this crucius maybe the most busted card in historic at the moment uh well play the land pass the turn okay so it's grixis mid-range this is still scary oh, another crucius all right grow spiral put an island into play well i mean crucius <sighs> crucius is kind of in between like it's not one of those creatures that wins without attacking in the same way that like uh shieldred does on the other hand if it sits out and does its thing every turn it's gonna be really bad for us like it kind of wins without attacking does this mean we have to win this protection i think we do the scary thing is this would be a deck that could potentially have shield rid and we've already used a witness protection so if a shield rid comes down we might be in a bad spot uh put it okay gold span dragon well i mean gold span dragon <laughs> that still gets fogged it does get fogged all right well grow spiral gonna make a lot of mana but not kill us hopefully opponent gets in hits so this is gonna be interesting it's not a shieldred not a shieldred we'll accept oh come on freeze out please 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 oh, all right the one ring's big that's big that gives us some card draw let's play the battle get recovery as a land that gives us some card draw to try to keep up with our opponent's deck oh uh, so we're drop taking what five so we're going to 12. all right i mean we're in it oh actually wait one two three four five the worst thing that could happen right here would just be untap land hall the storm giant that would seven eleven twelve that would uh put us under a very fast one ring burden well they didn't have the land for the hall of the storm giants or didn't choose to use it at least goes attacking leaving back the legitimate business person okay well we will draw a card opponent makes a treasure next turn we probably gotta start fogging so what do we need to draw here i guess really our best draw is probably just Ooh, consuming tide okay that's interesting our best draw is probably just a tutelage i think our best bet's gonna be to just like get the milling going to have a clock right now we don't have a clock at all which is just giving our opponent a ton of time to draw into who knows what that'll wreck us uh about it mouth of sauron okay etbs mills amasses are they a reanimator deck there was a scholar of the lost troves in the graveyard maybe they are reanimator well let's draw with the one ring land and to fairy play the tap land oh, this is awkward i feel like we want to bounce everything the problem is we need to bounce the one ring but we also don't want to lose this witness protection forever because we're going to need that in the future so i think we gotta i think we gotta wait and fog this turn opponent thought sees i mean we have three fogs so sure <laughs> sure we are not losing to a thought sees about it oh, we really need that tutelage where's the tutelage takes the teferi that makes sense and plays a land and combat attacks well <laughs> i see you run around town with the girl i love and i'm like fog you uh all right opponent has been fogged more in atari but the way they play their games they fail i pity the Oh, oh no there it is and ah i pity ourselves now that is the card we did not want to see that is a she old rid all right so this is awkward we untap we draw it's a forest oh do we have to take one ring damage how do we do this we really want to draw we would take too much yeah we just got a consuming tide we have to keep the one ring i mean this works so we keep the one ring we bounce our opponent stuff and the witness protection our opponent probably keeps shield red. we witness protection the shield red, which then lets us draw with the one ring we are gonna have to find an answer to our own one ring all right get to i guess just play the land and pass i don't think we're playing anything main phase here anyway 
Okay, I mean, well, we have legitimized the shield word, which gives us hope. Opponent untap land, and gold span dragon returns. All right, all right, all right. Hey, pictures of gold, nigga. Just thought you should know. <laughs> oh, all right, fog him. About it. <laughs> Hits us for zero. All right, we're going to draw some Magic the Gathering cards. Oh, they can't Crucius, can they? The treasure, they left up only an island. I think they mistapped to play Crucius. Well, we get to draw. There's a tutelage and a consuming tide. All right, well, there's a tutelage. Wow, this is going to be so close. Oh, and another tutelage. Oh, goodness. Oh, we can get them both down? Oh, we have a shot. There's actually a shot here. Mill you. Play another tutelage. This is a little risky. If our opponent can find a counter, if our opponent can find a counter this turn, they could stop the fog and maybe kill us with the Hall of the Storm Giant. Million, million. Play the land. Pass the turn. Oh, man. Is there a chance we beat a Shieldred? Is there a chance we actually beat a Shieldred? Like, this draws four now. This draws four in mills for 16? Root Snare. No counter. No counter. Okay, no counter. No counter. Okay. Wow, I think we actually have a shot here. We need, like, two turns. I think we can mill our opponent out in two turns. Well, let's see what our opponent finds. Let's see what they find. They're looking at our one ring. Reading the one ring. There are more shieldreds. We see one in the graveyard. Scholar. Oh, hmm. Well, we'll see. Opponent. Oh, no. Bond of Revival on Shieldred. All right, so we draw. We mill a ton. Opponent gets milled, gets milled, gets mi Oh, they're playing all the Shieldreds. Okay. Italies gets milled, gets milled. Hmm. Shieldred is an issue. Shieldred, so we're taking four. Is there any is there any way we can do it through the shield rid? Okay, mouth of Sauron mills targeting us. All right, we drop to 5. We draw. Opponent gets milled, opponent gets milled. 19 cards. Yeah, oh, if we could activate the one ring. Okay, we get one draw. We get one draw. It has to be an answer to the shield rid. So we can play the Teferi's Tutelage. Wow, we were, we're going to end up like... Uh, gross spiral. We're going to end up one shield would trigger short. Yeah, this only prevents combat damage. And there's no... Yeah, there's no way we can do it. Wow. Almost. Almost. All right. Teaching some more Arena Zoomers <laughs> about Turbo Fog and... Eh. We got a fog in the one ring, and even a witness protection seems good. All right, uh, yeah, let's just play a tap land go. See what our opponent's up to. They got Jagatha, otherworldly gaze. All right, so some sort of graveyard deck. Exactly what? Ooh, Narcomy. Okay, so probably, probably Dredge. It's probably just Dredge. All right, uh, do we beat Dredge? Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> See how fast our opponent is. How soon do we need to start fogging? Opponent founding the third path. Going to... Wow, free glimpsey unthinkable. Okay. That's frightening. Narcomoeba. Creeping chill. Two prized him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> down to 17. Here comes a huge board. While we already have to start fogging. Well... I don't know if we're going to be fast enough or not. Opponent. Oh, they have what? Wow, it's a lot of power. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. Because they have these creeping chills. So we're going to 14. We know they're going to hit two more creeping chills eventually. So we do have to fog here. Wow, this is a really fast start. The One Rings might be able to save us. I mean, our opponent. Wow, here they go again. Glimpse the Unthinkable. Mills, Mills. Creeping chill. Sure, sure, sure. Well, now we definitely have to fog because we're literally dead on board. So this is a very impressive dredge start. Otherworldly gaze. 
I think we should, well, we'll see what we draw. Hopefully with two one rings, we'll be okay. So we fog here, stay alive. Yeah, opponent actually assembled lethal on turn three. That is, that is fast. Uh, well, we'll play a one ring. Yeah, that's a turn three. Turn three dredge kill. Maybe dredge is good in <laughs> historic. <laughs> Maybe it deserves more respect. Opponent gets to play an instant or sorcery from the graveyard. The funny thing about this is our opponent is really aggressively milling themselves to the point where, are they targeting themselves again? They are, oh my God. Opponent has like 10 cards in their deck. So we do not need to do much to actually, to actually just mill our opponent out of the game. If we can find a tutelage, it's gonna happen real quick. All right, can we find a tutelage? Opponent passes, well, we draw with the one ring. Growth spiral, take one. Draw with the one ring. There's a tutelage. Wow, we have to one ring though, yeah. We did not draw a fog, so we have to just one ring, keep the new one. Gain a life with our cheaty land, back up to 11. So next turn, so we tutelage mill for two, one ring mill for four, grow spiral. I think we're just short of milling their entire deck this turn, we'll see. All right, so we take one from the one ring, draw a card. Balagad recovery, opponent has 10 cards in their deck. So we mill one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Well, let's draw with the one ring. So we can't win this turn, so we gotta wait. Well, that's another one ring. One ring is a, the card is absurd. It really is. <laughs> How about another one ring? <laughs> Do you have a counter? Okay, next turn, I think we can win. So we one ring. We, <laughs> we might witness protection the silver smell. I assume our opponent's gonna sack it to draw a card, which is one less card in their deck. Yup, so opponent sacks, draws a card. So nine, eight, so we definitely have lethal next turn, right? Or we mill our opponent's entire deck, not lethal, but essentially mill, mill lethal. About an adapts. Creeping chill, down to seven. Doesn't do anything, wow, that doesn't do anything, okay. <laughs> I guess protection from everything includes creeping chill. <laughs> oh, opponent gets back to silver smotes. So, Teferi's Tutelage, mill you, discard a land, six cards, one ring, mill for four, down to two, wow, we got Exaxi's mill. <laughs> Exaxi's mill kill, then we just cycle the Haze of Fallen, get the last two cards. Wow, was that close. Pony had literal turn three kill in the Fogs. <laughs> The fogs were enough to stop it. They were enough to stop it. All right, but it adapts. Wait, can I actually do something here? Why, why are they, so they stopped on their upkeep. They don't, with mill, you have to draw on an empty library. So just having an empty library doesn't kill you. So our opponent stopped before their draw step, but why? There's no way, there's no way. Okay, haunted dead, sure, are they just, Alms of the what? Alms of the vein. Opponent loses three. You gain three. Oh my goodness! Oh, if that creeping chill actually hit us for three, they would have had lethal. I did not expect alms of the vein. Opponent alm almost almost pulled it off on the empty library. That one wow, one ring is so busted. That one turn of protection to stop the three from the creepy chill is enough to actually let us pull the game against the turn three kill dredge deck. And uh, hmm, maybe our deck's actually good. Maybe it's actually good. We've definitely taught a lot of lessons, that's for sure. So that's teaching arena zoomers about turbo fog. One last super quick note on the way out the door. I made this deck mostly as a meme because I love turbo fog and I love teaching lessons about these janky, miserable old archetypes to new players. But it turns out, oddly, the deck might actually be good. So overall, with all the versions of the deck, I played 19 matches and I went 10 and nine, which that's a 53% match win percentage, which might not sound super exciting, but when you consider it's a 12 rare budget deck, that's actually a really good record. And I think the deck's actually even better than that. Because remember I talked about how the early versions of the deck weren't that good. They had like Watcher in the water. They didn't have enough lands. They didn't have any removal for Shieldred. The most recent builds of the deck 
deck all together with the two most recent ones i went nine and five which is actually a 65 percent match win percentage so what i intended to be kind of like a janky meme against the odds deck might actually just be a real strategy and that's actually kind of scary to think that turbo fog might actually be good again because it is a really miserable and frustrating deck to play against and remember this is a 12 rare budget version if you go all out in this deck you can go into white and play teferi hero of dominaria you can play more sweepers you can play an upgraded mana base you can play a creature land like there's a ton of upgrades you can do with this deck so essentially we kind of crushed it with the budget version of the deck and the deck might be even better so i don't know if you're looking to compete on a budget on arena and also to hand out some life lessons to arena zoomers and make people pretty sad to be playing magic might actually be a pretty good budget option so that is teaching arena zoomers about turbo fog thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed it and if you want even more magic make sure to check out the video where we teach arena zoomers about stacks or maybe the one where we talk about the plays that were so wild they actually forced wizards to change the very rules of the game